Hey, uh, welcome back everybody. Um, so I wanted to do a vinyl update on my Wolves Not Their Arnhem collection. And before I do this update, I just want to say that um, it was a really great experience seeing them live. Uh, not just because of the show, but after the show, um, I was actually lucky enough to get my stuff signed by them. And um, by any chance, if you guys ever watch this, thank you so much for signing my things. I really do appreciate that. Um, I also want to mention that uh, before the show, I met up with a really cool dude there. His name is Anthony, and he makes videos here on YouTube. And uh, he doesn't have a lot of subscribers, so if you will, uh, go check out his channel and uh, give him a subscription. Check out his stuff because he makes really cool videos. Um, but anyways, getting into this vinyl update now, I'm going to start out with their debut album. I really want to get their demos. I don't have them yet, but I will in the future. But anyways, uh, this is their debut album, Diadem of Twelve Stars by Wolves in the Throne Room. Uh, probably my favorite Wolves in the Throne Room album. I really, really love the cover on this. Um, it's signed at the bottom there by the Weaver Brothers. It's really, really cool. Really, really grateful to have this signed. I've never seen this signed ever. In fact, when I showed it to them, uh, they were really surprised to see it and uh, they were wondering where I got it and you know, because they just, they don't see this very often. It's a pretty rare LP for Wolves on the Throne Room. Uh, it doesn't pop up very often. The original press was released in 2006 on CD. And the first time it was ever released on vinyl, it was uh, by Southern Lord Records in 2007. So this is the one I've got, the first pressed vinyl of the album. I really love... I really love my version a lot. It's uh, clear blue. And I think this is the best version of it. There's also a green vinyl version and a white one and a black one as well. I really, really love this one a lot. It's my favorite version of it. Um, musically speaking, it's a really great album. It's got a lot of elements of uh, black metal, crust punk, thrash metal, female vocals, clean guitar. It's a really great mixture of a lot of stuff and so for that reason I think this is my favorite Wolves in the Throne Room effort uh, by far anyway. But yeah that's uh, DM of 12 stars. To get this version you're probably looking at around $90 to $100 unfortunately. Um, it's not a cheap album. Even on CD it's not a cheap album but um, if you keep a lookout I'm sure you can find one for a pretty good price. Next up is their sophomore Efforts. This is uh, Two Hunters. This is actually a repress uh, self release by the band in 2012, I think. Uh, this is their signatures. Really, really cool looking. Um, this is actually my introduction to the band. Um, this is the first time I ever heard them. I heard this album shortly after it was released in 2007, September, I think it was. Um, I really like this Ray Press, um, one, because it's self-released by the band, but two, because this is seriously and honestly like almost an exact replica of the original vinyl LP. Uh, my friend actually has an original press, and we compared the two, and they pretty much look exactly alike, honestly. Um, the only difference is the catalog number, and in the little corner of the... Of the back cover, there's a Wolves of Throne Room logo with the catalog number. I mean, the differences are just really minimal and not really that important to me. Um, it's a really, really nice uh, thing to have this in the collection. Uh, another thing is that the LP edition features an exclusive track, which is titled To Reveal. And also cleansing, that is, uh, it contains an extended intro, so it's a little bit longer. And, uh, but musically speaking, it's a really great album, really atmospheric, great riffs, and really, um, I would have to say meditative drumming. It's a, it's, even though it's chaotic, you know, because it is black metal, it's, it's just very meditative music. So, uh, Wolves in the Throne Room 200s, I think, to get this version, um, they might still have some in the Wolves in the Throne Room website, in which case you'd probably have to pay around $30. Um, if you get it on a place like Discogs or something, they're selling this for around $50, so it all depends on where you look with this one. Uh, moving on to 
<clears throat> something else. Uh, this is actually their EP. I didn't own this until after I saw them live this year. Uh, but I really, really am glad I found this. This is uh, the Malevolent Green EP, which was released uh, around the same time as Black Cascade. Um, I've never owned this. I've, you know, it's been on my wall list for a very long time now. Uh, but I really like this because it's actually foil stamped with Kristoff's logo. And if you're not familiar with uh, Kristoff, uh, he made um, a lot of famous metal logos. For example, Emperor from the 90s, he made that logo. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I know he's a big Wolves and Thornum fan, so for him, making a logo for them was a dream come true. <clears throat> the version I've got here is a pretty rare version on a kind of a clear but hazy caramel brown vinyl. Um, I've never actually seen this before I bought it. I found it on eBay for $20. I don't know a hell of a lot about this version, so if people can align me out there, I would really appreciate that. From what I heard, it's uh, only been available on their tour, I think on the Black Cascade tour. Um, but yeah, if anybody can give me some info on this, I'd be most grateful. Um, I haven't been able to find it anything on it. The only thing I found uh, was, you know, a couple of Google images, but otherwise, you know, I had to submit this in Discogs. That's how, you know, little information out, is out there for this. Um, but yeah, musically speaking, it's a really great effort. Uh, the first song, Looming Resonance, is my favorite uh, song on here. It has female vocals, clean guitars, and it's really atmospheric. And Hate Crystal is a really good song, too. That's the other song that's on here. Both really great tracks, uh, Wolves on the Throne Room, Malevolent Green. Not sure how much you have to pay for this because I never see it around, so I have no idea. Next up, <clears throat> we got three more here, so bear with me. Next up is their third album. This is uh, Black Cascade. Really interesting effort, I think. Um, it's kind of, um, as far as the production goes, a very naked direction for the band because... It's kind of stripped down of a lot of, you know, effects. It sounds very plain, but I think I really like the production. It sounds very warm because it was recorded on analog equipment, which is a little weird, you know, for a 2009 album. You know, very commonly digital is um, used for recording stuff nowadays. But I really do admire them for sticking to their guns and just um, releasing this on... Uh, or recording this rather on analog equipment. This is uh, the black vinyl version, by the way. There was a blue vinyl version that I really, really wanted, but it's very expensive, so I just kind of opted for the black vinyl version here. <clears throat> really cool labels. And uh, musically speaking, it's a really great album. I really love the riffs on this, really catchy. Uh, pretty typical Wolves on the Throne Room style, but the production makes it sound different and also I think as far as catchiness goes I think this is probably the catchiest Wolves in the Throne Room effort to date um, but yeah that's their third album Black Cascade to get the black vinyl edition I think you're looking at around forty dollars for this one um, not particularly cheap but still a really cool one to get into the collection so yeah Black Cascade by Wolves in the Throne Room next up is uh, one of their more recent albums. This is Celestial Lineage. I really like uh, this uh, record because it's got an, a wraparound Obi here. And for those of you who know me, I'm a really big lunatic when it comes to Obi strips here. Um, the only thing that does annoy me about the Obi is that it is a wraparound Obi and the original plastic that was around this record, it was very, very annoying to get the Obi in there. And so what I ended up doing was I just uh, ended up cutting off the hype sticker that was on it. Here's the hype sticker, by the way. I just ended up cutting that off and sticking it in a new plastic sleeve. This plastic sleeve that I've got here was actually, um, I acquired it through Prophecy Productions. And I really, really like it because when you take off the plastic, it keeps the shape of the Obi really, really nice. So if you can get one of these from Prophecy Productions, I do recommend it for, you know, this album. If you want to own this album, I do recommend that. Uh, here's the cover without the Obi. It's uh, signed. By the way, I forgot to mention that my Black Cascade is also signed. Sorry that I didn't do a close-up on that. This was released by Southern Lord Records, by the way. It is a gatefold. 
it's got really cool art in there. I think as far as art goes, um, this one definitely has the best art. Printed inner sleeves. And um, let's see here. I'm trying to get the other printed inner sleeve out. There you go. Here's the other one. And uh, I'm not going to bother taking out the records because it's just black vinyl, but yeah, I'm really happy to get this. Um, it's got really cool songs on it. A lot of people didn't like it because they felt it was a little too repetitive for the band, um, which I agree with on uh, to a certain extent, but I still really do enjoy this album quite a lot. Um, yeah, Celestial Lineage by Wilson Throne Room. Not sure how much you pay for this uh, these days. It seems to be getting a little bit more rare, so I would say around $40. Um, Around that neighborhood, anyway. So yeah, Celestial Lineage by Wilson Throne Room. And now this is the last one that I'm going to show you today, which is uh, the latest album that they've actually released, which is entitled Celestite. Um, here it is. It's a really good album. A lot of people didn't like it because uh, this is not a black metal album unlike their other stuff, but rather all of the music on this is actually ambient. So if you're not a fan of black metal but you're watching this, you might actually like this if you like ambient music. It's a nice soothing listen. Comes with a hype sticker, which uh, has the catalog number on it, which I believe is DIA013. Some information there as well. So that's a really cool hype sticker. Here is uh, the cover. And um, I really, I really love the artwork on this. Actually, I really, really do. Nice spacey feel to it, and it goes really well with the album. Um, it comes with two printed inner sleeves. So here's one of them. And also, I will take out the other printed inner sleeve because it is different. So here it is. And um, they actually released this on clear vinyl, which I believe was limited to 1,000 copies. I'm not entirely sure on that, if I'm remembering that right, but I think it is 1,000 copies. Really, really clear vinyl here. Um, this is probably the clearest record I own because it's like really transparent. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, as I said, it is a really, really good listen. I've actually listened to this a hell of a lot. Um, I wouldn't call this, you know, my favorite Wolves on the Throne Room album by any stretch of the imagination. But nevertheless, it's a really great, great piece of work. Seriously. Uh, to get this, it's actually pretty cheap uh, at the moment because it just came out in July 2014. So it's around $20 to get this on Discogs, which I really do highly recommend. They've also released it on um, a really cool cassette clear clear shell, and it's, um, it's blue. So that's a really good one to have. They've also released it on CD. So yeah, do get this album. It's actually a really nice listen. And the last thing I'm going to show you is actually this poster that is behind me. So I'm just going to pick up the camera here. And uh, I will show you this poster. It's a really great piece of art. I got this at the concert. And um, they actually did sell out of these, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think it's even on their website. Could be wrong on that, but nevertheless, it's a really nice piece of art. So yeah, that's all I have to show today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you all later, and uh, goodbye.